Hi guys, welcome to Office Bikes Reacts. I'm Office Boy Dave. I'm Office Boy Mike. I'm Chuck Shutters. Chuck Shutters. <laughs> The lumberjack, yes. uh, and I'm okay. <laughs> we are the office folks. We've got two other YouTube channels. We like to talk about stuff. We like to try stuff. We've got a Patreon page. We've got social media, and we've got brand spanking new merch. Click the link in the description. It'll take you everywhere you need to go. And we do massively appreciate the support. Mm. I'm gonna hand over to Office Bloke Mike to tell you about what we're about to do. Uh, yeah, we've got a Patreon request. Mm. Request. Wow. This is for Wyatt Winter. Wyatt. Cheers, Wyatt. Uh, nice one, Wyatt. I mean, cheers, Wyatt. Yeah. Top man. So we've got Michael Vick with Pole Rising. Uh, who is Michael Vick? Michael Vick is a quarterback, NFL quarterback. Uh, yeah. I think he used to play for the uh, team that United own, own United team. Uh, uh, I should know, really, shouldn't I? But, <laughs> you know, Buccaneers, Tampa Bay. Oh, Tampa Bay. Of course, I think yeah. he's. No, no, not Tampa Atlanta Falcons, I think right. he was. Yeah. We, we touched on him because you said that he was a naughty boy at one point. I think he got put away for dogfighting. Ah, is that the guy? Mm. Right. Fair enough. Not but, sure if he got. I'm pretty sure he got put away, but people right. are going to say he didn't get put away. It wasn't dog fighting. Yeah, yeah, it's cock it fighting. Cool, yeah, is this <laughs> what this is about, then? Do you think? I don't know. About it's, it's called polarizing. I, I'm. I guess that polarizing from, opinion or something. From do you looking think? at it, it might be like a mini documentary about uh, right, it or okay. something. But we'll, we'll find out. He was yeah. very good. Do you know what he was, was good? It? He was a good running <clears> quarterback. He used to get the ball and run with it. Right. And, uh, yeah. He was quite good at that. Right. <clears> Fair right. Well, let's do it then. So, Michael Vick polarizing. Vick on second and eight, off the play fake, has some running room, inside the 30, inside the 20, Vick into the end zone, Falcons win in overtime, a 46 yard yeah, Falcons, touchdown right. run, his second touchdown run of the game. I still think he's a prisoner of those great Sundays in Atlanta. When Michael Vick was in Atlanta, he was Michael Joy of Chicago. The most electrifying athletic quarterback in NFL history. His style, athleticism, and success made him unique in college and now just as historic in the pros. Lightning in the bottle, that's what he is. He's always going to try to make the impossible play. Quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. He was the highest paid player in the league. Put on such a show for you, Sunday after Sunday. Rolls to the right, runs downfield for him. He did things on a consistent basis none of us had ever seen on a football field before. But I think that that's what made great players great. The fact that they they, they, they push themselves beyond limitations and, and, and they try to make a way when there is no way. Here he comes again. When Michael Vick walked in, that was gone. He will score. 53-yard run. Michael Vick was one of the most electrifying players. Dog fighting. Dog fighting operation. Michael Vick was sentenced today. 18 month prison <clears throat> term. Now I can understand wow. if you're a dog lover, animal lover, you're just never gonna get it over, mm -hmm. uh, over this. You're mm -hmm. always going to basically hate Mike Vick. And I, I understand that. I don't share that opinion with you, but this guy has paid a massive price. I knew, you know, the magnitude of the decisions that I make and the poor judgment and what I, you know, allowed to happen to the animals. So the highest paid mm. player in the league to 18 wow. months in prison for something that's <clears throat> horrific. Yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty bad, isn't it, that? Yeah, I that's think not good. Of all the things, it's not like he got in a fight on a night out and went to prison. Animal abuse is going to upset a lot yeah, of people absolutely yeah big, it's big, big deal now, a apparent thing isn't it you know <clears throat> dog fighting and things like that I mean we've had stuff like that in our country as well haven't we you know uh, but it's just yeah gross yeah and that should wrap it up <clears throat> Manning with a perfect pass extra point is up and good 31 to 10 Eagles down by three touchdowns it was announced he'd be playing for the Philadelphia Eagles after signing a two-year contract with the possibility of earning nearly $7 million. You only go off what you see, you know, at such a young age. And, you know, I just fell into that trap and started believing what I wanted to believe. And it, it was never a point in my life where uh, somebody tried to correct me. It's almost into the miracle stage. Vic and the shotgun with the spread formation. Eagles have turned it over three times today. Takes the snap. He floats it. Complete. Good. Ready with the football and sell it. 
Is this after he's been in prison? Yeah, though? he's come yeah, out and he's team Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah, right, Philly, okay. Philadelphia Eagles. That makes sense from what people say in the comment section. If everyone hates you, you go and play for the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> yeah, right. The Philly fans in any sport are just bonkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I gather here. At the 20, at the 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Akers to kick off. It's an onside kick. Covered by Riley Cooper. And the Giants never saw that coming. What was it, 18 months in prison? Yep. 18 months. months. And Levensworth. Yeah. Levensworth. He paid so Federal many prices beyond just being in prison. Right. We, we know all the prices he paid. If the Eagles can score here, you are going to see the Giants very, very nervous. Vic in the shotgun. Ball comes back to Vic. Here comes the rush. He ducks under a man and he's going to run. He lost almost everything. He almost lost his career. It's remarkable we're even talking about this guy. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Back at the 10. Six. Oh my goodness! The Do you know what, right? You know I'm a Giants fan anyway, but <clears> watching <throat> watching players like this, and I know he's done wrong and all that. Yeah. Watching the talent, the sheer talent of what he does at sport gives me goosebumps. Looking out, I've got goosebumps watching yeah. him play there. <clears throat> yeah, just things oh, like that. Just I, I'm a massive sports fan, and just watching talent like that yeah. is just ridiculous. It's just, it's a big debate in sports, isn't it? If someone's done something wrong, paid the price for it, mm. he's has he paid his debt to society? A judge has decided he has to do 18 months in a, in a rough prison, prison. I think Levensworth is supposed to be quite a bad yeah. one. He's come out, he's served his time. He should be allowed to carry on with his career. You can't, <clears> stop, him, you can't stop him making a living or doing people. But at the same time, when, when you've got people out in sport, he's obviously one of the best that's ever played yeah. the game, yeah. the, the position. You look, at, you look at what he's got to bring to the sport. You can't, fans want, want to see people like that still play, yeah. regardless what they've <clears> done. You yeah, know? of course. And he's like you said, he's paid he's paid his debts to society. Some people will still go against and say, yeah, but what he did was should never play sport again. Does that mean what loads of people do should never work again, or you know what, is, what well, does he have to do to, to what, work? What you, yeah, absolutely. No one's mm. condoning what he did. Definitely, you know, no, absolutely. It's disgusting. Disgusting. No, it is disgusting. Yeah. But where's the cutoff point? I mean, what crimes are you not allowed to, you know, go back into society and do your job? And you know, it's one rule for yeah. one crime, is, is, but not another. Is he, a, is he a harm to? Is he a danger to society? Probably not. No, I think he's done something stupid. He should have been paid because he's, he's he's been to prison. <clears> he's done <throat> his time. Now, if he comes out and he's sincerely sorry about it and all that, you know, and he says, "Yeah, I was wrong," it's not going to happen again. You know, then you've got to say, "Right, well, you know, you've got to give someone a chance, I suppose, haven't you?" No matter how you, bad you the have, crime was. Well, but, I'm not sure about how bad the crime was. There's certain crimes where I'd never. Oh, there's certain ones where you, in, yeah, in the public eye. Oh, so, without a doubt, yeah. Ones but where, that's when yeah. you're a danger to society. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're thinking of crimes where mm. you know you've hurt kids or you know murdered or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I get it. That's different. That's different again, isn't it? I mean, there's a recent thing, isn't there, with the uh, is it the England cricket players that are being yeah. dropped mm. for tweets that they sent years ago? Mate, the kid yeah, was, historical the kid tweets and stuff. The when he sent that tweet, yeah. And he's 28 now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, just, isn't it? And it wasn't, I read the tweet, it wasn't that bad. Mm. I've seen yeah. a lot worse from other people. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, man. I mean, you're chucking something up from that long ago. It's 28. I mean, it's, yeah, man. Nah, 12 it's, years ago. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if someone, like, when Facebook first became a thing, dragged up every state issue you've yeah. ever done. Everyone's done something wrong once in a while, or maybe mm. on social media said something where like you think, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know, yeah. especially at sixteen. I mean, <laughs> he's a kid, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, your brain's not you know, fully um, developed. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, but so, yeah, but I can see the, why it's called polarizing. Yeah, yeah. but the, the, yeah. the play, the, just that play there when he's took, he's took this game to him now. You look when he's seven minutes on the clock. Yeah, and he was what twenty-one down or whatever. Yeah, you know, and he's bringing it back. So I don't think he yeah. wants to win this game. I don't know, but incredible. Like, gives yeah, me great. Talent, watching plays and talent. Yeah, it's whatever. Brilliant. Yeah. I decided to forgive him, and I know a lot of people would disagree with me on that one. I just I have a hard time holding a grudge against anybody for this. Game. Just under six minutes to play. Eagles trail by two touchdowns. Vic in the gun. Third down. It goes to Vic. Quarterback draw. He's in. We've got a one touchdown game. He's paid a serious price. He lost two years of his freedom. You better believe 
There are a lot of nervous stomachs in the stadium right now. He spoke at school after school after inner city school about the, the horrors and, and the abuses of dog fighting. And he's well, worked with the Humane Society, and it, it all rings true to me. 3-0-1 remaining in regulation. Oh, the Eagles are 88 yards and seven points away. This is it. This is when you open up your playbook. For those individuals who have been incarcerated, coming out of prison, and receiving a second yeah. chance, Michael Vick is the epitome of that. He's going to run 15, 20, 25, wow. 30, 35, <clears throat> 40. Wow. And he is hit as he comes out of bounds at the 45-yard line. 217. Can Vick complete the job? The most electrifying athletic quarterback in NFL history. He's at the 40, 35, 30, cuts to the outside, down at the 20. Michael Vick has given the Eagles life. He's turning this game around on his he own pretty much. Well. The single fair, I don't know, I don't know how good Michael Vick is and how shit the Giants are. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. It's not, something that's just occurred to me as well is how many rappers, mainstream rappers, have done prison time for assaulting people shooting at people dealing drugs and they're not cancelled when they come yeah. out of prison and I know it's, it's it's horrible what he's done but so is selling drugs yeah. to people selling crack you know people suffer shooting people is probably worse than dog fighting I'd yeah. say yeah with drugs involved I mean people die don't they precisely you know, things like that but they're but celebrated when they come out of prison it's sort of it's weird isn't it really? it sort of enhances their status to yeah. a certain extent as well doesn't it's it in that sort of very genre very critical mm. in that yeah. sense yeah Oh, of course, yeah. But, I mean, he's obviously a talent. Does he still play? Mm, I don't know how long ago all this was. Um, I think it was about, was it about 2009, 2011, right. something like that. Right. I don't think he plays anymore anyway. Yeah. Understand that there are people out there who are going to always find fault in anything he does, no matter how he's trying to turn his life around. Hang on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. This is something special. Vic in the gun. He's back. He looks. He fires. Complete. It is to the Macklin. And Macklin sidesteps and runs in for the touchdown. Macklin, quarter of the five. They look at him as somebody that has now resurrected himself and is being celebrated. Manning in the shotgun. He's thrown four touchdown passes today. Let's go now. He's back. He steps up. He's hit. Down he goes. Inside the 30 and the 28. And the Giants will have the ball. And they're saying, how can anyone who's ever done what he did, no matter what price he paid, ever be allowed to be celebrated in any way again? I haven't seen anything like this. This is absolutely remarkable. Back dodge the punt. Gets a high snap. Gets it away. It's a duck. Jackson takes it at the 35. Picks it up. Looks for running room. He's at the 40. He's in the 35. The Giants got a tackle. Cool. He's not finished the game. <laughs> wow. Lost the sound there. Huh? Oh, what have you done, Dave? I've done nothing. Let's see if it comes wow. back in. Well, I'll come back, eh? <laughs> Shout shit to the Giants. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happened there, but. Yeah. <clears throat> Hang on, Dave. Yeah, we're, we're done there. There's only 15 seconds left anyway, so we're all right. Yeah, someone's cut out for a reason. Yeah, yeah maybe there was some copyright music on it or something. <clears throat> yeah. We you know that all too well. I mean... Yeah, what a talent. <clears throat> yeah. A huge talent, is he, clearly. I think it's one of those things where if someone comes out, you know, if he's genuinely remorseful and by the sound of it, he's working with, like, uh, animal charities and stuff, wasn't he? And, he's, he's probably you know, not a PR company behind him. I'm sure. Got, Listen, you need to be seen to be actively opposed yeah, to... Yeah, you'd like to think he was sort of genuine in that, and then you'd, then you'd probably more likely to say, yeah, listen, give, him, give the guy another chance. Everyone but, makes mistakes, know. and the, yeah, there's, of course. there's mobs out there that just want you to, once you've made a mistake, you're just going to have to go and die somewhere, yeah. because yeah. you're not allowed an opportunity in life. I mean, you're not allowed is, a job, you're not allowed a family, you're yeah. not allowed anything just because I mean, you made a mistake. He's got everything going for him, but what made him do something like that in the first place? You think it's just the buzz, like like excitement, or... Probably the wrong people know, around him. It's, it's, you, you got, well, yeah. you got to remember these it's people on a massive people, entourage yeah. that's... You get as soon as you get money like that and fame like he's got, I don't know, like you say, the highest paid player in the NFL he was at that time mm. um, for the Atlanta Falcons. <clears throat> and then 
when you're earning that kind of money and you've got that kind of fame as the best quarterback, you know, the be- being the best quarterback in the league or the best quarterback in the world or whatever it may be, any sport, you know, whatever you're the best at in the world, you're going to attract people no matter what you're doing. on. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a massive, massive yeah, entourage yeah. of people who yeah. want to be around you. Yeah. And sometimes it's the wrong people. I don't even know if it's like, a, it might be a mob run thing, but to get involved, people like that do yeah. get involved in things. There's a lot of gambling going on, isn't there? Stuff stuff goes so on. There's a lot of money involved. There's always a few yeah. wrongs, isn't there, like you yeah. say? You know, another thing so, to maybe consider is he's possibly been taking shots to the head for the past 10 years at this point, and CTE mm. is something that is like, there's been uh, American football players that have shot themselves, killed mm. their families, like done some really out of character stuff and it's been down to CTE it affects your decision making day to day people are more risk averse that you know not risk averse the other way you know Mm. people are more more likely to take risks Mm. um, because this brain damage I'm not sure that's an excuse for him though I'm not saying it is because I don't know either way he just made some really really piss poor decisions he just made some poor decisions terrible decisions and you just don't look nowadays that he's you know he's not doing anything like that he hasn't done anything since and yeah, straightened out you know he's uh, yeah, straightened out and you know uh, yeah been a better man for it I think hopefully do you go to prison to be rehabilitated or to be punished and that that's an age old argument I think it's it's been, it should be both shouldn't it both, really. it is it's a bit of both be. but I read a thing about prisons in the UK back in the Victorian times and they were absolute disgraceful hell holes it was all punishment it was really bad conditions is that true Mike <laughs> And it didn't <laughs> it didn't in any way stop people committing crimes. If anything, it made people become repeat mm. offenders more. Well, you see that now if you watch prison, any prison shows, you know, when, especially in the UK, I'm not sure about the USA, but if you look in the UK, how many people do you see re-offend and go back to prison? Yeah. Yeah. Loads, it? loads. And, it's, and people say, you know, the prison guards are, I'm not, he's going to be in and out of prison for the rest yeah. of his life, yeah. you know. And you see the same people that you, we know from estates around here. You, know, mm. you, you don't see them for six months. Yeah. They're just fucking locked up. Yeah. You know. If you take opportunity away from people when they come out, what are they going to do other than turn to crime and then do, do bad exactly things? Do again. You got to, I mean, he's not done it. It's, it's bad. I love dogs. Mm. So that, that's yeah. a terrible same thing here, that yeah. he's done. Um, but, you know, come on. I I mean, I'm, not dog, I'm not a dog lover, but it's bad what he's done. Oh, yeah. yeah it's bad. It's real bad. Yeah, it's time. really bad. I think he deserved a second chance there, though, personally. Most and people if, do. If a club's you know, willing to back him up mm. and the fans are behind him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And what a talent. No, people who are sports fans want to see that kind of talent mm. on a day to day basis. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Oh, they don't absolutely. absolutely. I do, yeah, I do yeah. as a sports fan. So yeah. I know, you know, these, you get diehard fans that are, you know, football fans. Mm. You'll get Giants fans who are, you know, at that game. You'll probably say, I'd love to see it. What a great game to go and watch. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? I know you're on the losing side of it. It's happened to me in football. Yeah. You know, in English football. But when you look at that, it's like, that's fucking game. Yeah, that game. game. You know what yeah. it's like yeah. when you lose though. And it's like, he shouldn't have even been on the pitch. Exactly. I was yeah. going to say that before. Yeah. So yeah. it's polarising yeah. until he signs for the Giants. And then and everyone's then like, oh, it's great. Yeah, now he's our dick. Yeah. 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 That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But anyway. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one, that though. Yeah. Very much. Thanks for the request. It was a request. Cheers, Wyatt. Wyatt. Yeah. Cheers, mate. I hope you guys liked it too. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit the bell. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys.